So it has finally began. The countdown to the first DLC for Doom Eternal called the Ancient Gods has finally began and it will end the 20th of October 2020. To be honest, I believe that we were going to get the DLC a lot, a lot sooner, like around September. But I am not disappointed. We are less than two months away to get this epic journey and I couldn't be more excited. Hello Spotins, welcome back to another Doom Eternal video. In today's video, we're going to be completely and analyzing the new trailer for Ancient Gods. There's a lot of stuff to unravel, so let's get right into it. Subscribe if you want to know everything about Doom Eternal and leave a like. But before we begin, here's a word from today's sponsor. Special thanks to Epic Games for sponsoring this video. Season 4 for Fortnite just dropped and Galactus is on its way to defeat us all. Join your favorite Marvel superheroes and villains to save the world. Characters like Thor, Iron Man, She-Hulk, Storm, Mystique, Groot, Wolverine and my favorite of all, Doctor Doom, the eternal ruler of Latvidia. He is Doom. Kinda sounds like Doom Eternal too. You can earn these awesome cosmetics through the battle pass and their amazing character sets as well. This one being my favorite, this is so badass. Enhance your gameplay by taking up superpowers like Groot's Bramble Shield, Silver Surfer's Boards and Doom's Arcane Gauntlets. They are really, really fun to use. I am a huge fan of Marvel Comics and everything superhero related, and if Fortnite is known for something, is that their world events are awesome. Combine that with Galactus being the main villain of the season and the result is something really epic. Again, thanks to Epic Games for sponsoring this video. Let us defeat Galactus together. Let's go. I really need that Doctor Doom set. It's so badass. Anyways, we're going to be analyzing this video in order, so let's begin. First, we can see the Doom Slayer sharpening the Doom Blade with a rock. I still wonder what kind of material is that rock made out of. The Doom Blade can pierce through the flesh and armor of all of the demons from hell. The burn of hell, the pinky, all of them. So the rock that is sharpening the blade must be of an extremely strong material. I want lore on that rock when the DLC drops. It is THE rock. In this scene we can see the Doom Slayer walking away from someone and there looks to be two priests bowing in front of him. This may be a flashback or maybe not. Who knows? We then see the set of him, this celestial angel, and a reveal of his face. He looks exactly like Samuel Hayden and there is no way to deny it. Also, the divinity machine is behind the set of him and this scene makes it look like we're actually going to meet the set of him in the DLC. I do not think that's the case actually, at least in this scene. There is only one divinity machine in the universe and it was left on ruins on Terra's Nevada. So most likely this is a flashback of when the Doom Slayer was given his celestial powers. We then jump to a refinery that gave me a lot of Doom 2016 vibes and we see the Doom Slayer jump into a little submarine of sorts that goes underwater in the ocean. And you know Doom Guy, instead of safely going underwater into the submarine, he just grabs into it and goes below the surface, not taking into consideration the huge amount of pressure that is going to be exerted into his body. At this point, he is already hundreds of meters submerged in the water and he doesn't care. Oh, this is also a reference to Doom's Back to Saturn X. Good reference, good reference, I liked it. We then see just some normal gameplay and then we jump into this. Where is this? I do not know. But if one thing is for certain, is that it is the graveyard for titans, as there are tons of titans laying dead in bones on that place. In the beginning, we thought that we were only going to visit Earth and Erdak in the DLC, but we're also going to visit Hell? or maybe some place on Argentineur. So the DLC is going to feature three different locations, Erdak, Earth, and hell or maybe Argentiner. And that is completely awesome. Also, I love the look of this location. It looks dark, 
greedy and spooky. Another big dead looking titan and then this. The new feature enemy angel. According to Ugo Martin, this enemy is called a blood angel. Hmm. Anyways, the blood angels are obviously going to be in the category of super heavy demons or angels alongside the Marauder, the Archfall, the super heavy Baron of Hell, the Tyrant and the Doom Hunter. The blood angel can shoot bolts from his staff, he can shoot crosses from his wings and apparently he turns immune when his shield is up. I cannot wait to rip and tear this guy with his staff it's going to be so awesome we then see the refinery being destroyed i think it was pretty obvious that that was going to happen we also get to see how the summoner works he doesn't summon nor resurrect dead demons he possesses them and buffs them at the same time once you kill the possessed demon the summoner is going to reappear and you have a tiny window to kill him while he is vulnerable i cannot imagine how this is going to be if an arch vial is also on the arena we then see a titan and this gave me huge godzilla vibes a giant kaiju just watching you, towering over you too. Anyways, it doesn't seem that this titan is an enemy, at least in this scene, as it helps the Doom Slayer reach the peak of the mountain, where he's going to meet the true gods of the universe, and you can actually see a winged creature reflected on the visor of the Doom Slayer. At least that's what I see. I really, really want to fight that titan in the DLC. I want to do it, god damn it! And I'll be disappointed if we don't. Anyways, let's talk about what the Seraphim and Samuel Aiden were saying in the trailer because, yeah, some parts were really hard to understand. We have been allies for some time now. I know who they were the moment you set foot in our world. Your gifts. Oh, you must now. The only ones who can save this world are the one to serve the gods. We have been allies for some time now. I knew who you were the moment you set foot in our world. Your gifts are owed to us now. We work to resurrect the only ones who can save this world. And then the honor to serve the gods. Yet again. The way everything is phrased, and especially at the end, it feels like... I mean, at least for me, it feels like if it was the same person talking. Another hint that Samuel Hayden is the set of him. We work to resurrect the only ones who can save this world and the honor to serve the gods yet again. This is huge for lore nerds like me, as this may be hinting at the Wraiths, the ones that gave life to Origin Denner, basically the gods of Origin Denner, and the gods of the universe as well. If you have read the lore of the Wraiths, that's some godly celestial stuff. And I'm going to do a video explaining all of that because all of the things that were shown in this trailer say a lot about the lore of the true god of the universe and all that good stuff. So be sure to subscribe. Oh, and I forgot to mention one more thing. At the end of the trailer, we see two marauders at the same time. <laughs> Oh my god, this is going to be awesome. I'm, I'm already seeing all the articles from games journalism and games journalists like, Oh my god, it's software. The Marauder ruined the game and it's software doubles down and doubles the amount of Marauders in one arena in the DLC. I mean, that is really, really hilarious, you know? The Marauder is not that difficult to, to fight against. Of course, fighting two at the same time will be hard, but... But there's already mods for Doom Eternal where you fight four, eight, ten marauders at the same time. It's not it's not that hard. And I'm I'm actually seeing already on Facebook people complaining about the double marauder reveal on the trailer. That that is completely 
hilarious. I love it so much. If an article or something super ridiculous comes out live or something in the next couple of days, I'll be doing a video on that as well, but... Anyways, Ugg Martin, it's software. We asked for Double Marauder and you guys delivered and I'm actually very proud for you because normally people will be like, game developers will double down, will bend the knee on the players that ask for that kind of stuff. But Doom Eternal has several difficulty settings. So if it is very hard, just go down to I'm too young to die or hurt me plenty. There's no... It's not a bad thing to do that, but anyways, it's... I love it. Two Marauders, let's make it three in part two, okay? It's software. Three Marauders in part two of the DLC. Let's do it. Anyways, I loved this trailer, and I cannot wait to play this on October. I'm going to be streaming my whole playthrough of the DLC on Twitch, so be sure to follow me there. Twitch.tv slash Midnight Spartan. All the links will be down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome day, Spartans. Adios. Los quiero mucho.